Hi there, I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I'm comparing two great speakers on Vox AC-15. So I did a review on a Vox AC-15 and I loved the amp and I was very curious to know which speaker would I prefer if the revered Blue All Nico speaker or the more traditional Greenback Celestian. Caius Music in Portugal was kind enough to send me two, each with a different speaker. So I have a Blue All Nico speaker and a Greenback speaker. Both AC-15s are exactly the same, so I'm playing through both and trying to figure out which speaker I like the most. This is not a full review on the AC-15. If you want to watch that, please go to the link because I have a full review on the AC-15. This is just a comparison <laughs> the comparison between the two speakers so I know which one should I get. But first of all, let me thank my dear patrons for supporting the show. And if you want to become a patron, it's super simple. You just go to the link and follow the steps. You'll be getting early access to episodes, a free video lesson every week, a free bit backing track every month, and of course, you're helping the channel, so I thank you a lot. You can also support by contributing to the tip chart on PayPal. And if you want a guitar lessons with me, just send me an email or a direct message via Instagram or Facebook, and we'll deal with it from there. Let's go. Two AC-15s, I got my 9052 Telecaster, well, it's not a 9052, it's a reissue, American Vintage, but it's one of my favorite guitars. And for the AC-15 thing, it's actually my favorite guitar. I love this Tele with uh, Vox amps, either AC-30 or AC-15. I'm using my traveling pedal board, which has a Muzz Box, Octave Fuzz, King of Tone, a Pickle Vibe by Love Pedal. Uh, the M2 was a craft delay just for slapback and the M5 for all the rest for the special effects. Let's go and dive in to the amps. To my left or to your right I have the Blue Alnico and to your left I have the Greenback. Let's plug it in and check it out. Plugging into the normal channel of the Blue Alnico amp, clean, no effects at all. Okay, we're listening to the reverb on both amps. They are set exactly the same. Let's turn on the King of Tone and check out how they handle uh, overdrive. You can see they react really differently. I think the Blue Alnico um, has a, a bite and a high mid-range. The Greenback is a little fatter, a little duller, which might help. Let's hear the muzz box of fuzz going into uh, each amp. <laughs> So you hear the greenback, to me, here in the room, tames a lot of the highs. Uh, the, the selection has a sparklier highs, which with the fuzz face, or the, in this case the muzz box by Res Effects, which is kind of an octave fuzz, a strange fuzz distorted pedal, it's kind of fizzy. But we can tailor that using the king of tone after the fuzz. So this is 
the mass box king of tone after it Without the king of tone, okay, they sound really nice, really different. Do you have a preferred one yet? Let's check how they overdrive. Let's push up the volume to half. Just the amp, nothing else. I find that the green back makes it sound way more normal sounding and the blue selection makes it sound way more the way I think about Vox amps. So bright and sparkly, uh, it has a special thing. So at the moment I'm kind of tempted on going on the blue Alnico because it adds a lot more to my amp collection and that's, keep in mind that's always what I'm aiming for when I get a new piece of gear is something that brings something new to the table. I don't want any uh, another more amp. I want uh, a new color for, for the studio or for my live playing. So the Blue Alnico feels that adds more to my collection but the green back sounds a lot more like a normal amp. So if I only had one amp I would probably go with the greenback because it's rounder it's more natural sounding it's less of an effect the blue to me sounds like I want that shiny Vox thing which is specific for a specific thing but not an all-around amp to my taste of course I'm editing the episode and I'm very very confused because recorded they don't sound quite as similar to what I've heard in the room but then I played it again and I now I get it the blue Alnico has that sparkly bright tone but it sounds kind of more balanced while the greenback has even more brights but a muddy low end so I'm really really confused and I would love to know what you think about it let's hear all the break up on the treble boost or the, um, the top boost channel because I'm we're just listening to the normal channel and in the old days Vox amps only had volume and tone cut nothing else so you can only cut the highs and, or give it volume but they were too dark amps that's why for example Brian May uh, and Rory Gallagher used treble uh, booster pedals like the uh, Dallas Range Masters pedals to boost the treble a little so the amp would be brought back to life and they boost the amp even more so they distorted the amp more but it's screaming it has it fills the 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 highs that the amp didn't have that's probably why the blue alnico were so famous because they are bright and they brighten up a dark amp then vox introduced the top boost which is basically introducing a brighter channel with more gain and more driving ability so this AC15 has both channels, you can plug into one or the other, you cannot foot switch um, the channels unless you have an AB box, which is also an easy thing to do. But let's go to the top boost channel on the green back and try to distort it a little. So all settings at noon and master volume is always all the way up.
yeah, I'm guessing I would call it the um, the Blue Alnico is vintagey sounding to me because the low end is not as tight. It farts out like a um, like a fuzz pedal does, so it's not tight the bottom end, and the green back makes it tighter. So, for example, if if I get uh, just a low E palm muting. <laughs> My taste, I think I would be going with the Blue Alnico, but I'm not sure because the green back sounds incredible. Uh, it's it's really hard to, to to think about it, but let's hear how they clean up. <laughs> That's it. I hope you have liked it. What do you think? What's your opinion? Should I get the blue Alnico or the greenback? I'm very indecised. I'm really wanting to buy the blue because I have no blue uh, selection and I have my AC30 has greenbacks. I have that Marshall cab over there, the 412, that also has greenbacks. Um, and I have no blue Alnico, so the blue Alnico is kind of something new to my um, collection. And I, I'm loving the non-tightness of, this, of the, the Blue Alnico, and it's, it's a different amp. For the sound I get with the green back, I would probably go to another amp, like probably my AC30, which is a fatter, rounder amp, uh, or even the Deluxe Reverb has that tone. Or any other normal amp, it sounds really good. The greenback, by by all means, I'm not saying that the greenback is not good. I love it. That's why I'm really in the size. But the blue has something vintagey sounding to me, like it's it's dirty. It breaks a lot easier. the the ba the bass is not tight at all. So it's a new color for me. Again, I, I I'm sure if I would have just one amp, I would go with the greenback. It's way fuller, way more normal sounding amp, 
way more versatile. But the blue is giving me something that I don't have. And you know I like things that I don't have. Help me on this. Please let me know what you think. And I hope you, you like the show. Of course, if you want to become a patron, you know what to do. Uh, and you're supporting the channel. And if you like what, what I'm doing here, that's a huge contribute that you can give. Or you can donate something to the tip jar. It also keeps us going. And please visit my river.com store where I have some gear I don't use here or I can't afford to keep. And I'm selling it over there. Just visit my website too, budagets.com for more information and for, for stuff that you might want to get. See you next week and I hope you like it. I can't wait to hear your comments. Bye-bye.